remember how many of you know that the word of god has power and the word of god will speak to every person those who are sitting in the presence of god amen that's the reason that we are here and we came to the church to listen the word of god kartavanu vadana kelkanayittu nammude devasini kadannu vandirikkana nam ellavarum kartavanu anugrahikkatte enna naan prarthikkunnu so we know that last week uh, we were um, i mean thinking and we were uh, studying from matthew chapter 2 and uh, the the topic and the theme was encounter with jesus makes difference right encounter with jesus makes difference men and today we are going to read matthew chapter 2 verse 12 okay matthew chapter uh, 2 verse 12 and i'm going to talk about overcoming the obstacles of encounter with jesus overcoming the obstacles of encounter with jesus okay so somebody can read that verse uh, matthew chapter 2 verse 12 yeah. of how much more value is a man than a sheep uh, matthew uh, matthew, matthew two, chapter right? 2 verse 12 and hold on a second been warned in a dream not to go back to herod oh. they returned oh, to their sorry. country by another route Okay, um, so the slide is not coming in the screen, no problem. So let us all, I mean, listen to the word. I mean, uh, if there is a slide, you know, it, it is very um, easy for you to, I mean, understand and you can, you can write it down. So anyway, we will uh, uh, try for that and uh, uh, later we will see that, you know, uh, the topic is uh, for today is according to that Matthew chapter 2 uh, verse 12 uh, is overcoming the obstacles of encounter with jesus okay so last week last sunday we have been uh, thinking about when what are the differences that which is happening in a person's life when a person is having an encounter with the uh, I mean jesus but today we are going to say that when there are many obstacles in everyone's life when before or before reaching to Jesus or before an encounter with Jesus or before seeing Jesus. Amen. So we are going to look into that. Amen. Eshu Christu in a man kaanam in moon pula thai rikkinna. Lengil Eshu Christu in a maa itula thai rikkinna. Or encounter koodi kaitsa kiwa endi pokanna in a moon ba. Jeeva thiru unda agana thaya tadasangal. Okay. Namal akke ittu kudal agri ikkinna uri kairi vananda ana. In the Kartava, Yeshikus in a Kanan and the Jewet Rishuni and Pubikan, the Kamagri can never run a Pache, Yeshu in a Kanan than a Utri Tata Sangalonda. Okay, so you may be thinking that, okay, I'm going to I mean, talk about uh, Zacchaeus or some other I mean, people from the Bible, but I'm not going to take all those things because we have many examples in Bible. There are many people uh, before uh, going to see Jesus and before having an encounter with Jesus, I mean, having many obstacles in their lives. Amen. I but I'm going to talk about the same people that we were discussing in the last week also I mean the wise men the wise men okay so I mean Eshu Maita Kuti Kanan Ulladhan Munpula Dairi Tadasangalai Kuriche I mean Hindi Landa Varayana Riyamo Eshu Sam Milne Ki Vedhavum Ko Dur Kare Eshu Kristu Vene Kanan Vendi Endalna Tadasangal Namada Mumbil Ondo Adhan Ella Vendi Ya Adhan Endi Ya Duryagarikya Lekil Adhan Thalli Kalai Ya Adhan Ekk Over Hallelujah. So when we think about the wise men, those wise men, when they were coming from the eastern side to Bethlehem to, to see Jesus, we can see that there were many, there were many hindrances or obstacles before meeting I mean, Jesus in their lives. When, so first of all, we are going to see what were the obstacles or what were the hindrances that they were facing just before meeting or having an encounter with Jesus Christ. Then we will see how those people were able to overcome the obstacles. Okay. First of all, we will see what are the obstacles that they faced and then we will see what are the, I mean, uh, what are the chances and what are the opportunities that God has given for them to overcome the obstacles of their life for the encounter of Jesus Christ. First of all, the first point is obstacle of distance. Okay. Obstacle of distance means, you know, some scholars are saying that these people, the wise people were coming from the eastern side and if they were coming by camel, 
it would have taken maybe uh, maybe a uh, two weeks or something okay uh, uh, by camel it would have taken two weeks or uh, 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 and if they are i mean coming by uh, traveling by foot it would have, it would have taken uh, maybe uh, 40 days or something okay uh, 30 days or 40 days okay so this distance that we understand that even uh, it was almost I meant the, the scholars are having uh, different uh, uh, i mean uh, teachings about uh, how many miles were there from the eastern side to Bethlehem some are saying that 400 miles or some are saying uh, 700 miles and some are saying uh, 1500 miles or something like that you know so anyway we could understand that at least these people were traveling from the eastern side to Bethlehem almost around 400 to 700 miles they were traveling from that place to reach to the Bethlehem. Bethlehem is the first place to go to Bethlehem. Bethlehem is the first place to go to Bethlehem. Hallelujah. Well, we could understand one thing that even though it was a long Long distance that they were traveling it was a long distance that they were traveling but think about that is an obstacle in the lives of those wise men right when the obstacle in the life of wise men is traveling a distance traveling a long distance 400 miles or 700 miles when but you will understand that they were overcoming that obstacle by faith beyond the realities by faith beyond the realities let me remind you one thing this i mean uh, 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 from this point that you know even though the wise men they were having that obstacle in their life of a long journey a long distance of traveling they were always i mean having the faith in god they were having the faith in god and they were trying to overcome the obstacles by having faith in god and also they are thinking that the faith is going beyond the reality Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I mean, Yadar thing will come for the Kipoga, then a protek Maria Dakana, Urivishwas or Kundai, and then I mean, the Lord who told us to go to Bethlehem, the Lord who told us to, I mean, God to see Jesus or have an encounter with Jesus, He is faithful, and we are believing in Jesus, in God, who, I mean, told us to go to Bethlehem. Hallelujah. You know, there are something in our life also. It is a reality. You know, we are thinking sometimes you are thinking, okay, this is a reality. How can I cross this? And how can I, I mean, overcome this problem? How can I overcome this obstacle? How can I overcome this hindrance in my life? I mean, there are there are sometimes, you know, we feel also that, okay, oh, this is a big pro I mean, problem in my life. And this is a, I mean, biggest, uh, I mean, greatest problem in my life. And how can I overcome this problem? How can I overcome this obstacle? But we can understand that the wise men were I mean, overcoming the obstacle of the long distance but by making and believing that faith beyond the realities. I mean, everything is reality. There are many things which is reality. When you look about or when you, when you think about all those things, I mean, it's a reality for the wise men. The long distance is a reality. I mean, anyway, they have to reach there. But only one thing they are thinking that we can, I mean, overcome the distance and we can overcome and we can reach to Bethlehem by believing in God who told us to go to that place. Hallelujah. So that is the first thing that we can understand from how these people were, I mean, I mean, overcoming the obstacle of the distance. I mean, and secondly, when we study about these people, they were having an obstacle of identifying and looking only the star of Jesus. Okay, so you can see that there would be many other stars in the sky. I mean, there are many other I mean, I mean, stars in the sky. But just understanding or recognizing the special star of Jesus was a difficult thing for the people. I mean, for these wise men. Man, you know, you have to understand one thing. I mean, this could be a great problem for them to understand which is the star of uh, which is the star of Jesus. Man, in their journey, they were just struggling. Maybe struggling that there is there is a, there are there are many there are many stars in the sky. At the same time, I mean, they have to recognize and they have to realize and they have to look unto that star only while they were traveling. Jesus Christ, when they are not just and they are not just that they are only. 
യാത്ര ചെയ്യാൻ സാധിക്കത്തുള്ളൂ അത് ഇച്ചിരി ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടുള്ള കാര്യമാണ് അല്ലേ ഏർ ധാരാളം അമൻ സ്റ്റാറുകൾ ധാരാളം നക്ഷത്രങ്ങൾ ആകാശത്ത് നിറഞ്ഞു നിൽക്കുമ്പോൾ യേശു ക്രിസ്തുവിന്റെ ആ നക്ഷത്രത്തെ മാത്രം നോക്കിക്കൊണ്ട് യാത്ര ചെയ്യുക എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് എന്താണ് ഒരു പ്രോബ്ലം തന്നെയാണ് ഒരു ഡിഫിക്കൽട്ടി തന്നെയാണ് ഒരു 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 ഡിഫിക്കൽട്ട് തിങ് ആണ് എന്നാൽ ഐ മീൻ വി 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 നോ ദാറ്റ് ദേ വെർ ഓവർകമിങ് ദാറ്റ് ഒബ്സ്റ്റക്കൽ ബൈ റിമെമ്പറിംഗ് ദ ഫ്യൂച്ചർ ജോയ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ ജോയ് ആൻഡ് എക്സൈറ്റ്മെന്റ് ഓഫ് സീയിങ് ജീസസ് ക്രൈസ്റ്റ് ഹല്ലേലൂയ ആൻഡ് ദേ വെർ ഹാവിങ് ദാറ്റ് ഹോപ്പ് ആൻഡ് ദേ വെർ എക്സ്പെക്റ്റിംഗ് ദാറ്റ് ഇഫ് വി റീച്ച് ദർ വി കൻ സീ ജീസസ് ഐ മീൻ ദ ഫ്യൂച്ചർ ഹോപ്പ് ആൻഡ് ദ ഫ്യൂച്ചർ ജോയ് ഹെൽപ് ദം ടു ഓവർകം ദ ഒബ്സ്റ്റക്കൽ of this problem what is what is the problem only identifying and looking only the star of jesus yesu christ vende aa nakshatrathe mathram kandu pidichu nokki avadam vare yathra cheyga nu parayunnathu valare buddhimuttayirunnu pakshe it was possible for the wise men because i mean they were i mean i mean thinking about the joy and excitement i mean that which is going to come for their life when they are going to see jesus christ hallelujah you know many a times we are also anxious about many things and we are I mean, thinking that okay I mean, how can I, I mean, face this problem? How can I face this obstacle? And how can I, I mean, get into that place? And how can I, I mean, I mean uh, come across all, all, all these problems? But sometimes we have to believe that. I mean, if you have that confidence in uh, Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2. Okay, let's read that verse. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2. <clears throat> Fixing your eyes on Jesus. Ah. Hallelujah. So how can you face and how can you overcome these kinds of obstacles in our lives? Men, only looking unto Jesus always fix your eyes on Jesus every time. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. Hallelujah. You have to think about, you know, he, Jesus is the finisher. Jesus is the author and finisher of faith. And when we look unto Jesus and then we are fixing our eyes always unto Jesus, we will be able to finish our overcome. And we will be able to finish the race and we will be able to overcome that particular obstacle or hindrance which is in our life to meet Jesus. And that's what we read there. And there will be many other similar persons also in around us. When there are many people standing around us and there are many people those who are i mean you can call them as a fake jesus or uh, the people those who are similar to jesus just like the, the stars are there the, there are many stars in the sky and uh, these wise men were only for looking for the for the star of jesus the same thing is happening in our life also many a times that uh, i mean we are seeing many people around us and we are seeing that okay we 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 may think that okay that may be the jesus or that may be a person that may be a, a real christian or somebody okay but bible very clearly says that you are not supposed to look into the other people those who are similar to jesus okay the star you may be uh, no the wise man may be i mean thinking okay the star and the, what is the difference between that star and this star they have the difference there at the same time they may be confused I mean which star we can look I mean, they may be confused about I mean how can we I mean I mean I mean uh, 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 travel or how can we I mean make our journey by only looking at the star of Jesus Christ I mean but the bible very clearly says that you have to fix your eyes on Jesus you got to fix your eyes on Jesus and you will be able to face all the temptations of this world and you will be able to I mean, overcome all the I mean distortions and all the diversions and every problems that we are facing in this uh, I mean world hallelujah and that's the reason in uh, Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1 we are reading there that leave all the encumbrances and unwanted things which easily entangles us that means we may have the struggle in our journey that we are doing something that just i mean i mean just removing or putting away all the troubles and all the things which is entangling us and uh, the struggles and uh, the the encumbrances and unwanted things which is enca- entangling us and we got to put it away then start your travel then start your journey and then and there you will be able to reach to the place that 
I mean, God wanted to I mean, reach there. Hallelujah. So this is what we understand from this point that then, I mean, uh, Jesus, I mean, uh, the, the, the author of uh, uh, book of Hebrews, when he was saying about uh, when looking into Jesus, especially he is talking about Jesus. Okay, looking about Jesus. That means he is talking about Jesus in verse two. It is, uh, it is uh, very clearly it says that fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. That means when Jesus was thinking about, okay, if I can reach to that place and if I am facing that obstacle, if I am facing the cross of Calvary, then I will be sitting, I will be sitting at the right hand of God Father and I will be saving all the sinners when he was thinking about that he said that okay I am thinking about that thing which is going to come for me the joy and the excitement when which is going to happen hallelujah the blessing that the people are going to I mean going to receive when, when I'm thinking about the, uh, the, the blessing that which is uh, the people are going to receive I'm and enjoying in that and I'm I mean I'm, I'm, I'm ready to I mean suffer for that I'm, I'm ready to take that I mean cross on me because I know that there is a there, there is a there is a blessing behind it hallelujah so when we look into Jesus always and when we are focusing our attention to Jesus all the time that we have to understand that we have a joy we have a future joy that we will I mean, get that joy and we will get that blessing from the Lord if we are I mean, overcoming the obstacles of uh, these kinds of struggles in our lives. Hallelujah. So that's what uh, we understand from that I mean, point number two. And we will go to third point. The third point is the obstacle of livelihood or incidental expenses. Okay. So think about that. I mean uh, the, the journey of wise men. Okay, Okay, in our journey, when who is there to help us and who is there to direct us? It's true that the star is there, but there are many needs in their lives. When there are many needs in their lives. You can call it as a livelihood or a, I mean incidental expenses which they have to meet on their journey. When but the, the, the Bible very clearly says that when they were overcoming that I mean obstacle also by the assurance of God's provision. Hallelujah. When a person is having an assurance about the God's provision and we believe that that person will be met by all the needs of that person. Hallelujah. So God will provide for the people of God and that was the faith of these wise men when they were traveling from the east to Bethlehem. Hallelujah. And they were, I mean, not worried about anything. You know, in, uh, in Philippians chapter 4 verse, I mean, 4 verse 6, we are reading that. Do not be anxious about anything, but present your request to God and He will care for you. That means, put all your burden upon God. Put all your burden upon God and He will care for you. Hallelujah. This morning, when we are thinking and then we are saying, okay, oh Lord, I'm, I have many worries. Hallelujah. And I have many burdens in my life for God. And I have many I mean, hindrances in my life for God. I want to see Jesus. Man, we are thinking, I want to see Jesus and I want to have an encounter with Jesus and I want to meet Jesus and I want to face uh, I mean, Jesus but I have many obstacles in my life and I am I'm going through the struggles in my life and I have many worries in my life but the Bible very clearly says that put all your burden upon him and he will care for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
ഈ ഭാരം വെച്ചുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കേണ്ട ഈ വെറീസ് വെച്ചുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കേണ്ട സർവശക്തനായ ദൈവം നമ്മളെ പുലർത്താൻ ശക്തിയുള്ള ദൈവമാണ് that obstacle is done amen yeah. that obstacle is gone from your life that god is providing for you hallelujah, hallelujah. and we will go to the fourth uh, i mean obstacle that the wise men were i mean facing in their life that was the obstacle of man made questions okay this is one of the important point that every one of us should uh, i mean know that many a times when god is saying something to us and when god is giving something uh, instructions to us when our life le kartavu chila vaakkal okke nammal paranju kaiyumbol chila samayath nammal endu chindikkum nammal man made aayittulla nammal thanne undaaki edutha korchu questions angotti vekkum alle okay sometimes it is happening you know uh, sometimes god is saying that okay you have to do this and you have to go to that place and uh, you have to meet that person okay and then we are asking some questions to god and we are asking oh, oh how can i do that and i can how can i go there i have many questions in my in my mind and uh, i mean how can i get into that place and how can i talk to that person okay but everything we have to remember one thing that when you are ordered or when you are getting a warning from god when you are getting a command from god when you are getting a instruction from god I mean, if you are ready to obey that guidance of god when god will reach you and god will provide you whatever you want that's what we see here when these people were not asking any question to god these people were not asking any question to god they could have asked them ask him that how can we step out without knowing the proper destiny they were not knowing a proper destiny right they didn't know where to go when god said to them that you have to go and meet meet jesus baby jesus but god did not say that this is the exact place that jesus is born and you have to reach there he didn't say that i mean they can ask Oh Lord, how can we step out? How can we step out to see Jesus? Because we are not knowing the exact destiny. And also, they could have asked the, uh, to him that, how can we travel without a clear route map? When? That means, you know, nowadays, uh, if somebody is asking you to, to go to a place, when you will be, I mean, I mean, maybe uh, searching in the google and uh, finding when the, which is which is the easiest uh, i mean a route map uh, you, i i can reach there I mean, right so the same thing you know when uh, god was saying to wise men you have to go to go and meet jesus uh, the baby jesus is born and you have to go there they didn't ask god what is the map or what, where, where is the route map to reach that place when uh, without asking a question you know and they could have asked him that how can we concentrate or depend on the star on the sky for 400 miles or 700 miles or 1500 miles is that easy no it's, it was not easy when traveling maybe 400 miles or 700 miles or 1000 miles only looking unto a star now for us it is not possible for us it is not possible looking at a star and traveling 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 maybe by uh, maybe by uh, by camel or uh, by ford when they are when they are traveling looking unto only one star and traveling it is not easy for uh, for everyone else and it's not easy for them also but the thing is you know they are not asking anything about who is going to provide the food or accommodation on the way and uh, but they are without asking a question they were believing that the lord who told us to go and meet the baby jesus he is able to provide all the needs of these things hallelujah, hallelujah. can you believe that our god who is i mean who is i mean calling us and our god who is encouraging us to i mean do something our god who is i mean uh, i mean saying us to i mean go to a place i mean he will provide for you and he will give you the route map hallelujah avadam vare poganulla vali avan ariya nammal paarapadanda nammale vilichirakkiya kartavu ame vali kaanichu tharan shaktanaya deivamaana aa vali yathrayil namukku endella aavashyam undo adella thanna nammale avade ethikkan kaliyulla aa deivathiyana nam kaanuvaradiyagunnathu hallelujah you know abraham also had the same situation in his life 
Okay, just like wise men, Abraham also was having the same situation in his life many times. Okay, not only one time, many times. I have mentioned there maybe two times. Okay, Abraham, think about Abraham. You know, in Genesis chapter 12 verse 1, God is, I mean, I mean giving him an instruction. Read that, I mean, uh, a verse, uh, Genesis chapter 12 verse 1, first of all. The Lord has said to Abraham, go yeah. from your country, your people, and your father's household, ah. to the land I will show you. Yeah. God said to him that leave your father's house and your relatives and your country go to the land which I will show you. Okay, You know almost or around 700 miles he was traveling. Abraham was traveling okay, from that place from Ur or Haran to, to Canaan. Okay, Almost 700 miles traveling Abraham asked him how can you do that? How can you do that? How can you start your journey from that place to I mean, Canaan without knowing anything? Okay, And he didn't, uh, he, it was not given that okay, this is the road that you have to go. It was not uh, given that okay, I mean, you have to reach to Canaan. He, he did not say that. And he was traveling by faith. It is written very clearly that he was traveling with, with faith. When I went to church, I went to the 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 church. He's not asking a single question to God. Oh God, give me at least the name, the, the, the first alphabet of that place. Where you are, I mean, where you are sending me. Man, we will ask that. Man, Namala Arangilana, Namurana Parangila, I mean, the Arangitri Kenes, and then a Kanikan, the Kinesha, the Pokola, Parayu Anangila, Namurana Chorin Jodienda. Younger Pogan, the Salatinde, a Salatinde, Adi Thatcher and Gilum, on the Taru Anangi, Yanga Kanduichola, Kanduichola. Okay? But God did not say to Abraham, C is the first alphabet. No. God didn't say that. Okay, and God said, you have to go there, the land which I am going to show you. God didn't show him, which is the place that he, where he wanted to go. But God said, you want to reach there and you want to go to that place where I am going to show you. Okay, traveling around 700 miles, when without knowing where to go and where to, to which place he is going. When this is actually faith. This is actually faith. And again, in Genesis chapter 22, Okay. In Genesis chapter 22, that God said to Abraham, that take your son Isaac and sacrifice him on the mountain, which I will tell you. And he was traveling for three days. Think about traveling three days without knowing what to offer his own child Isaac. Hmm? It was not easy for Abraham. But he believed that the Lord who told me to take your son, the Lord who told me to sacrifice your son, I mean, on, the, on that mountain, I mean, it was said that, okay, you are going to the, to the mountain of Moria, but at the same time, I mean, God was not saying that at the exact, I mean, mountain, exact place that you have to sacrifice your child. Okay? But Abraham was starting his journey by faith and he was overcoming that obstacle without questioning God. So, this is the obstacle. We have to do this. 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 We have to Hallelujah. Our God who is faithful for every one of us. Hallelujah. And if God has told you that you, you start your journey, I mean, God will help you to reach to that place. Hallelujah. Even if you do not know which is the exact place, I mean, which is the exact I mean, solution for that, which is the exact, I mean, uh, I mean, I mean what is that uh, destiny for that, but God knows everything and God will tell you that you have to reach there and I will be with you for all, all, all the days of your lives. Hallelujah. Even you know, Noah. Noah was uh, I mean asked by God, make a make an ark. 
okay so uh, we we went and uh, see that the model of that ark in uh, uh, kendaki last uh, time when we visited uh, tennessee uh, our sister my sister you know we went to Ken- uh, kentucky also and we could see that uh, a huge ark which was uh, uh, prepared there and made there uh, 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 just uh, you know uh, according to the measurement which was given to noah okay so everything is there and inside also everything is arranged there and it was a great thing that we could see that i mean ark of noah when i was thinking that you know how noah was making this ark without knowing anything he didn't see a rain he didn't see an ark before but he know that when the lord i mean told me to make an ark he is faithful to finish it hallelujah and he was having that faith in god ദൈവത്തിന് ആഴമായി വിശ്വാസം തന്നെ കൊണ്ടായിരുന്നോണ്ട് എന്ത് ചെയ്തു ഏ ഒന്നും കണ്ടിട്ടല്ലെങ്കിലും നോക്കി എന്ത് ചെയ്തു ആ ആ പെട്ടകം ഉണ്ടാക്കി കൊണ്ടിരുന്നു അല്ലേ ഹലലുയ്യ ദൈവക്കൾ നമ്മുടെ ജീവിതത്തിനകത്തും അത് പ്രാപിച്ചെടുക്കാൻ സാധിക്കട്ടെ നമ്മുടെ ഇറങ്ങി പുറപ്പെടാൻ കർത്താവ് പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഒരു കാരണവശാലും ദൈവത്തോട് ചോദ്യം ചോദിക്കാതെ കർത്താവേ ഞാനെങ്കിൽ വിശ്വസിക്കുകയാണ് ഹലലുയ്യ ദൈവത്തോട് ചോദ്യം ചോദിച്ചാൽ നമ്മുടെ പ്രശ്നങ്ങൾക്കൊക്കെ തുടക്കം അവിടെയാണ് അമേൻ ഒബ്ജക്ട് തുടങ്ങുന്ന അവിടെ ദൈവത്തോട് തിരിച്ചു ചോദിക്കുക എന്തിനാ കർത്താവ് നീ അങ്ങനെ എന്നോട് ചെയ്തത് എന്തിനാ കർത്താവ് നീ എന്നോട് അങ്ങനെ പറഞ്ഞത് എന്ന് ദൈവത്തോട് ചോദിച്ചാൽ അത് മുടങ്ങി പോകാൻ സാധ്യതയുണ്ട് പക്ഷെ ദൈവത്തോട് പറഞ്ഞ കർത്താവ് ഞാൻ ഒരു ക്വസ്റ്റിനും ചോദിക്കുന്നില്ല ദർ ആർ മെനി ചാൻസസ് ദു ക്യാൻ ആസ് മെനി ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ടു ഗാഡ് വെൻ ഗാഡ് ഈസ് ടെലിങ് യു സംതിങ് ഐ മീൻ ഈവൻ വൈസ് മെൻ ദി ഡിൻ ആസ്ക് എനി ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ടു ഗാഡ് ഏയ് ബ്രഹാം ഹി ഡിൻ ആസ്ക് എനി ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ടു ഗാഡ് no uh, he didn't ask any question to god they obeyed the guidance of god they obeyed the the, the word of god they obeyed i mean the, the the dream that they received from the lord hallelujah and through that through that through that i mean you will be able to overcome the obstacle that you are facing in your in your in your in your, in your life I mean, the man made questions hallelujah and we will go to the fifth point the fifth point is the obstacle of threatening and trap okay this is a this is an important point that we have to think about you know the the obstacle of threatening and trap okay when you read matthew chapter 2 verse 7 8 12 13 16 16 all these verses are talking about what is happening in the lives of these wise men and the king herod okay what is obstacle here and then what is the tadasam eh ഒരു ഒരു ഭീഷണിയുടെയും എന്താ പറയുന്ന ഒരു ഒരു തന്ത്രത്തിന്റെ അല്ലെ ഒരു തന്ത്രവും ഭീഷണിയും ഹെറോദ് രാജാവിന്റെ എന്താണ് ഒരു ഒരു വലിയ ഭീഷണി മുഴക്കിയിട്ട് ഐ മീൻ അനേകരെ കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങളെ കൊന്നുകളയാനുള്ളതായിരിക്കുന്ന ത്രട്ടണിങ് ഒക്കെ നടത്തിയിട്ട് ഒരു വലിയ ട്രാപ്പാണ് കൊടുക്കുന്നത് നിങ്ങൾ നോക്കിയേ സെവനിൽ യു വിൽ സി ദാറ്റ് ഇൻ ഇൻ വേഴ്സ് സെവൻ it shows that herod is trying ടു ഫൈൻഡ് ഔട്ട് ദ ഏജ് ഓഫ് ജീസസ് അറ്റ് ദ ടൈം ഓഫ് മാഗീസ് വിസിറ്റ് okay when maggie was visiting there when, when i mean wise men were I mean, visiting uh, i mean in the palace you know he was saying that okay uh, uh, what is what is what is the what, what is the time that you have seen that dream eh? what was the time and when was the day that uh, you have seen that uh, vision or the star on the sky okay so in verse we understand and uh, you know clearly understanding the plan of king herod okay for threatening the people and uh, i mean making a trap for the people in verse 7 i mean herod is trying to find out the age of jesus at the time of magi visit and in verse 8 we understand it shows that his cunningness to kill the wise men and jesus also that's the reason he is saying that okay go meet jesus and come back to me and tell me that where is jesus born okay this is a trap and again verses 13 and 16 that verse says that the notorious character and cruelty of herod by killing all the baby boys under 2 years old okay so every time when you read this portion especially 13 7 8 13 14 15 16 all these verses are talking about the herod the king was a notorious person he was a cruel person cruel king you know the history says that uh, he killed many people like uh, he killed his uh, uh, father in law he killed his sons and he killed his wives there he had 10 wives and he killed all the wives and uh, he he made, made many i mean uh, uh, notorious things in the in the in that uh, in that area and he is a he is a cruel person and he is a, uh, a, a dangerous king 
But at the same time, let us understand one thing that even though Herod was a dangerous person, even though Herod was threatening these people, even though I mean Herod was uh, I mean making troubles into these people, but and, 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 and Herod was trying to kill Jesus and the wise men. But one thing is sure that the Lord has been with them and they were escaped from all the threatening and all the trap of the enemy. Hallelujah. That's what we are reading in Psalm number 91 that he is the deliverer I mean, from the snare of the trapper. Hallelujah. You know in our life also, in our journey also there are different kinds of traps and there are different kinds of I mean, snares are there. The snares of trapper but the Lord is able to deliver you and me from all kinds of traps. Hallelujah. The Lord is able to deliver us. I mean, and then, uh, um Hallelujah. So you can see that Herod was I mean, making a trap to kill Jesus and also the wise men. But God has delivered those people from all kinds of troubles and all kinds of cruelty and all kinds of uh, I mean, death and uh, I mean, uh, the, the, the threatening and the destruction and everything. Hallelujah. And that's what uh, we are reading in verse 12. That by obeying the guidance of God, they could overcome the threatening and the death that which was planned by Herod. Only one thing that did. Okay, verse twelve. Uh, we already read it. Okay, by obeying the cadence of God. I mean, uh, read that verse maybe once again. Having been yeah. warned in a dream ah. not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. Oh, hallelujah! That means you know they got the clear guidance from God, and they were they were ready to obey that guidance. But so, what is the what is the I mean uh, 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 guidance that given? A warning. The warning. What was that? Don't go back to. Her. Don't go back to. Herod. To the Herod's palace, because he is trying to kill you and kill Jesus and kill all the children. You know. After that, we read that. You know, Herod killed all the children, the boy, uh, 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 baby boys, men under two years old. Right? You know. You know. This much is the is the is the is the is the character of that Herod king. Even though he was trying to kill the people, even though he was trying to make troubles in the, the lives of other people, you know that uh, Herod, uh, actually he was the uh, king of Judea, but he was not a Jew. Herod was not a Jew. He was he was from the Arabian background and he became, he, he converted to Jewish religion and he became a Jew and he became the, the king of that um, area, a king of that I mean, country and he was ruling over the people of Israel under, under the Roman Empire. Okay, this man, when he was coming to the, coming to the leadership and he only one thing that he was thinking that okay, if I am getting a position, I will not lose that position anymore. I mean, I need to be in the position and I, do, I need to rule over these people and he was a cruel person and he was ruling over the people in a different way, in a notorious way but the Lord was caring for the people of God, the Lord was able to I mean, care for the people and he was able to protect the people from all kinds of the snares of the trapper hallelujah, hallelujah. praise the Lord hallelujah and it's reading that uh, in, in chapter 2 verse 12 that it says that you go to another way Maturu Vari Avundi and Dido, our going to the you? Turnur Tango to Poy Varika and the Richard Ruane. About another way, where you are Namako to Toraka and the you? Shaktanane, how many of you believe that? I mean, if one door is closed, hallelujah. If one door is closed, I mean, if one way is closed, I mean, if one experience is closed, another experience that you are going to experience in the coming days. Hallelujah. God is going to open many, many ways and many, many doors for the people of God. Even though, hallelujah, I mean somebody is closing one way. Hallelujah. So he arranged another way for the people of God. Another way for the people of God. We will come to the sixth point and we will cross the, book, cross the message. When the sixth point is the obstacle of self-esteem or self-boasting. Okay. When you think about that, 
you know these people the wise men were actually the wise people they were maybe kings they may be astrologers or priests or knowledgeable people you know that could be an an an, an, an obstacle for those people thinking that okay i am a king or i am a priest or i am a i am a, I am a wise person i am a knowledgeable person you know uh, uh, the, the scholars are saying that okay, these people the wise men uh, were having a relation with uh, or contact with uh, uh, our uh, da- the prophet daniel you know during the time of daniel uh, during the time of nebuchadnezzar the king you know nebuchadnezzar saw the dream and uh, nobody was there to uh, uh, interpret that dream and uh, they were calling daniel and he was interpreting that a dream to nebuchadnezzar and all those things we we know the history you know those people were i mean because daniel was having that wisdom on those days to interpret the dream of nebuchadnezzar the same thing that the scholars are saying these people also were having that wisdom these people uh, were knowledgeable people and they were well known people maybe kings or maybe astrologers or maybe a priest or somebody but we understand these people when they saw jesus when they saw jesus they fell to the ground right they fell to the ground hallelujah they may be king but in the presence of god they are not able to stand they are falling down in the presence of god this is the only way that we can overcome the obstacle of self boasting hallelujah hallelujah overcoming the the the, the obstacle of self boasting or self esteem that sometimes we are thinking okay i am somebody i know something and i am somebody oh i am a big person i am a great person i am a famous person but hallelujah in the presence of god do you want to um, do you want to overcome that obstacle just fall down in the presence of god fell to the ground ask to the lord oh lord i am nothing a father emptying ourselves and surrendering ourselves can overcome and through that you can overcome the self esteem okay self proud and self boasting you can overcome that by emptying yourself nammale thanne devas sanadil samarpichu konde nedumbod veed kariyumbol undallo nammade swaya prasamsa ella avasanichu povu ഹലലുയ നമ്മൾ ആരാണെന്നോ എന്തൊക്കെയാണെന്നോ ഒക്കെ ചിന്തിച്ചുകൊണ്ടായിരിക്കാം പക്ഷെ ചിലപ്പോൾ ദൈവസം ഇരിക്കുന്നത് അതെല്ലാം തകർന്നു പോകണമെങ്കിൽ ഉണ്ടല്ലോ കർത്താവിനെ കാണണമെങ്കിൽ തകർന്നു പോകണം കേട്ടോ നമ്മൾ ആരുമല്ലെന്ന് സമ്മതിച്ചു കൊണ്ട് എം ടി ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ട് കർത്താവേ ഐ എം ടി മൈ സെൽഫ് ഫാദർ ഇൻ ഫ്രണ്ട് ഓഫ് യു Okay. In, uh, when you are reading uh, Acts chapter 9 verse 4, we understand when uh, Saul, uh, Saul is uh, not the same as Jesus, but he is the same as Jesus. When uh, I mean, Saul uh, was uh, having that encounter with Jesus Christ, what we read there? Eh? He, he fell to the ground he and fell... heard a voice say to him, Oh, hallelujah. Saul, why do you persecute me? You know, thank you. It's a trick. I mean, when he was listening to the voice of God, when he was listening to the voice of god he fell down to the ground he was not standing there he was not able to stand there and he was not able to say something that like i am somebody or i have something hallelujah he was saying i am nothing of father i am i am humbling myself to the lord i am surrendering myself to the lord in the presence of god help me oh god hallelujah this morning let's all close our eyes in the presence of god hallelujah requesting all to close your eyes in the presence of god hallelujah would you please stand on your feet hallelujah 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 just remember the word of god the points that uh, we have been discussing this morning hallelujah the lord has been very clearly talking to us from i mean matthew chapter 2 I mean last week and this week also hallelujah how many of you remember i mean what had happened last week what is the message last week hallelujah the differences after the encounter with jesus but what is the message today hallelujah hallelujah what is the message today amen amen the, how can we overcome the obstacles that which is uh, i mean having i mean which that which is facing in our lives to I mean see jesus hallelujah many times uh, we are supposed to see jesus in our lives hallelujah we are supposed to have an encounter with jesus christ every moment of our life hallelujah 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 but most of the time we are not able to do that hallelujah we are not able to make that we are not able to reach to that place hallelujah, hallelujah. but bible very clearly says that put all your burden upon him hallelujah 
hallelujah and do not be worried about anything do not be anxious about anything bring everything in the hands of god bring everything in the hands of god hallelujah hallelujah otta kida yo sala irangi tirichapol anegire ningale bheeshana padithi kaanuvayirikkum ningade kudumbathulla oru bheeshana padithi kaanuvayirikkum hallelujah oru parani kaanuvayirikkum ninne njan aaradhanaik vidathilla hallelujah nee ini aaradhanaik poyal ninne njan vechekkathalla nanu parayam parayirikka hallelujah nal kartavari aathma parayunu avan avada ninne viduvi cherkartavana hallelujah aa vetakkarne kediyil ninne ninne viduvicha devathale saanithyam nu valkar nammada madhyam undu oh hallelujah 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 do not be worried about anything in your life do not be worried about anything in your life hallelujah ninne jeevathile onnile prashnangal bharapadanda nilakku vendi karuvaan kartav shakthanaaya devamaana hallelujah 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 praise the lord hallelujah you may be thinking that okay how can i overcome this obstacle how can i overcome this obstacle it is possible it is possible by the power of god it is possible in the name of jesus hallelujah 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They may have many questions to ask to God. Hallelujah. They are asking. They may have many questions. But they are not asking any question to God. They were willing to obey the word of God. They were willing to obey the guidance of God. Hallelujah. Remember, we are able to overcome the obstacles of our distance by faith beyond the realities. Realities are realities. But the Lord will help us if you have the faith in God to ob- ob- to overcome the obstacle of the distance. Hallelujah. Amen. And we are able to overcome the obstacle of only looking to Jesus by remembering the future joy which is set before us. Hallelujah. We are able to overcome the obstacle of livelihood by the assurance of God's provision. We are able to overcome obstacles of man-made questions by without questioning God. We are able to overcome the obstacles of threatening and trap by opening by obeying the guidance of God. We are able to overcome the obstacle of self-esteem and boasting by emptying and by surrendering ourselves in the presence of God. Let us all surrender our life in the presence of God and I pray that let God enable everyone let God encourage everyone let God help everyone everyone in our church to overcome all the obstacles that you are facing in your life to meet Jesus in your personal life hallelujah so God will enable us and God will help us to do that and uh, let us all surrender our life in the presence of God and let's pray together I request the brother Jason uh, to uh, lead us in prayer praise God